Okay, let's get the show on the road. Hey guys, Mech here. I know it's been uh, a couple weeks. Um, has it been a couple weeks? It's been one week. Yeah, we didn't make it last week. It's been busy. I know I've been quiet on Twitter. I apologize. It's been crazy dealing with real life stuff. Though that real real life crappity crap. Sometimes you gotta take care of things. So it's good to be back. As you can see, we got the festivities going on here. Um, speaking of things being messed up, I haven't uploaded on YouTube for like two or three weeks because I don't have a software to clip the beer review portion of the stream out and then send it to YouTube. Um, we're not streaming today, so we're doing a standalone video, but those are coming. So there's like at least two or three beer reviews that are coming to YouTube very, very soon. And once I can clip those from uh, the uh, the stream so look out for those so since we're in October since it's Halloween um, Halloween is throughout all of October uh, in my personal opinion anyways uh, one of my favorite holidays um, for sure uh, between Christmas and Halloween uh, I love those times of year and so I like to get all festive here as, as you can see with the lights and the a blanket behind me and my little sign and cobwebs. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I, I got my green screen looking really, really good, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go without it for uh, for October. And we're going to do some fun stuff with the decorations. And I'm looking for my bottle opener. I don't see it. Not good. I kind of need that. Here's the little devil. Here we are. So, today, uh, we're going with the, the fall slash pumpkin theme all month. Uh, we got Oktoberfest. Um, I was going to do... <laughs> I was going to do uh, the pumpkin head last week, but I, um, I, I saved one so that I, I would have one to review and I drank it like a dummy. So, anyway... So this, this week we have uh, Samuel Adams Oktoberfest, a uh, hearty and smooth Marzen, whatever that is. It's a great brew. I've already had it a few times. More than a few, actually. Come to think of it. So I already know what I'm getting into here, but I haven't reviewed it yet. So we're going to do that right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the pour on in the Boston Bruins pint glass. Or whatever glass. The head is coming. <laughs> we'll let that fizzle down before I pour in the rest and I'll we'll hop over to beer, I'd forget. And surprisingly on Beer Advocate, it only gets a score of three point six seven out of five. But there are a lot of um there's a lot of reviews on here. Seventy eight hundred which is more than usual, if I'm honest. I mean, most beers I've, I've reviewed so far don't have that many reviews. Samuel Adams being pretty uh, prominent, pretty uh, well known, you're going to get that. So, when it comes to Samuel Adams Oktoberfest, we have, it's from Boston Beer Company, uh, of course, in Massachusetts. And style is a German Mars that I never heard of that. Uh, slash Oktoberfest. So Oktoberfest can be a style in it of itself, I guess. Um, the ABV is 5.30% and the availability is fall, of course. Um, typically, you see these kinds of beers start to roll in pretty early on um, in like late August and early September. Um, and then as you get more into October, you're just flooded with, with pumpkin beers, which is fine by me because I love them. In uh, the notes here, we have in 1810, the Oktoberfest tradition was born when Munich celebrated the Crown Prince's wedding with a special beer and 16-day party. 16 days, holy shit. Our version of this classic style blends hearty malts for a deep, smooth flavor of caramel, creating a brew that's perfect for the season or whatever you're celebrating. Smooth with a rosy sweetness and light hop character. Couldn't be said any better. 
I love the write-ups on Samuel Adams. So, the head has fizzled away. We'll go ahead and pour the rest of this bottle in here. As you saw with the pour, the head was um, quite strong. A couple, of, uh, a couple of fingers thick, and it was like a kind of creamy color. But here it is, all poured out. It's got a nice kind of uh, coppery, almost burnt orange color to it. It's see-through, but that's fine. I'm, I, I would expect that. But it's got a great color to it. it it's a beautiful, beautiful beer. I actually forgot what it looked like because I've been drinking them straight out of the bottle um, thus far. Very, very nice looking beer. Great color. So anyways, start giving it a smell. And it doesn't have a lot going on in the smell. Which is surprising, because it is full of flavor, I already know that. If there's anything to be had here, it's most certainly what you would expect. Like, pumpkin spice and uh, caramel, like they say in the notes, um, and, and just little um, underlying hoppiness which is you can um, you can barely recognize it at all but you definitely get this kind of spicy pumpkin and 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 the sweetness all at the same time it's it's one of those beers where it smells kind of the way it tastes actually anyway Cheers to Halloween and, um, well, the first beer review of this year. I think it's the first, or, um, year. This month. First beer of this month, I think it is. Because we didn't do one last week, and last week was the first Friday, I believe. Yes, it was. So. Cheers, my guys and gals. It's really good. As soon as it hits your tongue, you get a little bite of citrus. The bubbles, tingly. And then you get, surprisingly enough, you get a little bit of a hot bite. Like, just after that. And then, as that finish comes on, uh, it, it's, it's a little bit light. So you, you get, like, this kind of watery in the middle. Uh, and then at the end, you, you you get this really nice um, spice, and it's not like specifically pumpkin spice. It's just like a blend of spices. Pumpkin pumpkin spice is in there, but it is a spicy beer with like nutmeg and um again pumpkin spice, and that is then followed up by um. Kind of like this lingering uh, hoppy bitterness mixed with that uh, sweetness, of, sweetness of caramel. It's very, very nice. One of my favorites for sure. I really appreciate pumpkin-y beers like, uh, like Pumpkin Head or like, um, like Harpoon's uh, Pumpkin Ale. Because it, it, just, it reminds you of a pumpkin pie, and it's a very nostalgic and uh, delicious kind of beer. Whereas this, this is um, is lighter on the pumpkin spice and heavier on just um, uh, hops, even though they're not very strong. And uh, like an underlying sweetness from caramel, and probably a little bit of... Um, uh, uh, caramel malts at the same time. It's, it's, it's very tasty. It's, I mean, look at this. It's easy to get down, too. It's not hard to drink at all. <clears throat> you can easily put away probably three or four of those if you're anything like me and you enjoy these kind of kinds of beers. So anyways, guys, um, short and sweet, Really, uh, 
October Fest from St. Adams, you really can't go wrong if you enjoy a beer that's uh, a little higher in flavor, has a little bit of a hot bite to it. Um, and when I say little, I mean very little. Like, I don't, I'm not trying to, to say that, you know, it's anything overpowering because it's not at all. Um, it's just, it's kind of, it's just there a little bit. It just it nips you a little and that's all and it's gone. And underlying that, you got some spiciness and a little bit of sweetness and it's, it's fantastic. It's a great beer. Um, I don't think I've ever had a St. Adams beer that I didn't like, uh, and this is no exception. So definitely give it a try if you've not had it. If you are kind of skeptical on, um, pumpkin themed beers. This one might be a better one for you because it's not strictly pumpkin, really. This is kind of that fall theme. So, do yourself a favor, guys. Pick up some uh, some Oktoberfest. They have it in sixes, twelves, and it's also in their uh, their variety pack for fall. Uh, highly recommend it. So, big two thumbs up for me. If you couldn't already tell. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I do apologize for uh, being behind on uploads and missing last week so please thumbs up the video if you liked it thumbs down if you disliked it and i'll see you next time take care have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your weekend